Hey everyone, today we're going to make one of Thailand's most popular curries, sweet and spicy green curry. Now every good curry starts with a paste, so let's begin with that. First, we need some dry spices. One teaspoon each of white pepper, cumin seeds and coriander seeds. On really low heat, we're going to toast them until they smell fragrant. Green curry paste is traditionally made in a mortar and pestle, but to save some time, we're going to use a blender today. So in with the toasted spices. Next, we need about one inch or a thumb-sized amount of fresh galangal, peeled and sliced thinly. Then we need some fresh coriander, but not the leaves, we want just the roots, about five or six of them. Into the blender, they go along with two lemongrass stalks which we're slicing thinly so they blend easily. Peel one small bulb of garlic and chop two red onions to go into the blender as well. It's a very common misconception that green curry gets its color from Thai basil. What it actually gets its color from are green chilies. Today we're using two varieties, green bird's eye chilies and big green chilies. This curry is quite a spicy one. If you prefer a milder heat level, you can balance out the amount of bird's eye chilies to big chilies. I'm using 12 bird's eye chilies and 5 green chilies here. Now we're going to blend everything into a rough green paste like this. To start the cooking process, heat up a large pot. Now this is an optional step. I like to add a bit of oil and fry the paste briefly to help it release more flavour. Traditionally, the paste is just boiled in water, which actually makes cooking this so easy. Into the pot, let's add 6 bruised cafe lime or makrut leaves. Then pour in 3 cups of water. Simmer gently on medium heat and in the meantime, let's prepare our veggies. We are using two types of eggplant in this curry, Thai eggplants and pea eggplants. These small green pea looking eggplants are slightly bitter and balance out the sweet and spicy flavours of this green curry really well. They take a bit longer to cook. So add them into the pot first. At this stage, let's season with a vegetable stock cube, some salt and a bit of palm sugar. Stir everything well and leave to simmer. Cut the Thai eggplants into quarters. If you can't find these, you can substitute them with any other eggplant variety. Then let's also chop some snake beans or Chinese long beans. Add all the veggies into the pot and let them boil gently until cooked through. For protein, I'm using some baked tofu triangles. These are just regular firm tofu cut into triangles and baked with a bit of salt and oil. If you're not a fan of tofu, feel free to omit this and add whatever you like. To add some colour and another layer of flavour, slice two red chilies finely and sprinkle into the curry. Then add in one cup of thick coconut cream and mix into the curry until it turns into a creamy mild green shade. The final step is to add some fresh Thai basil. Feel free to add them in stems and all. I like to pluck the leaves off so they wilt into the curry. That way you get a leaf in every bite for extra bursts of flavour. Make sure the heat is off and stir the leaves in. Serve this green curry with some fragrant jasmine rice and enjoy it hot. If you love this green curry recipe, give me a thumbs up and watch this video next. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.